the first time I've been closely involved with the awards that OWSD has been giving given out, and I've been really um, impressed and um, pleased with the with the impact that it does seem to have on on the participants. And I think for women scientists, the beginning of their career, this is a critical gap for them in in the normal running of their of their lives and their work lives. Women scientists have much more difficulty establishing and maintaining connections outside of their institution. Um, they do have connections and research work collaborations with people in the country, even internationally. Um, they experience much more difficulty in making these connections than men do. And the reasons for this are many, including the need to stay home and, and manage their family. And so I think the part of this prize that takes them to a conference or a major event in a different country where they can meet a range of scientists in their area and in other areas that can start to develop the international connections and knowledge. My journey to being a scientist um, started at a very young age. The first time I tried an experiment as a young girl, it was an ex expired um, vial of chloroquine injection, and um, it was going to be discarded. And I told myself, what would happen if I break open this vial and poured it right on a plant? And it was from that point that um, I took interest in science. I'm a woman of few words. When I have to choose a career, I prefer to choose science because you're in the lab doing your research. You just need to think, you don't need to talk too much because I, I'm very curious about things. About this award, uh, for me, it's uh, very important. Not only because recognize the early career woman in science and the work that we are doing in our countries, and so it means that uh, you are kind of role model, so it means that you need to advance more in order to continue uh, fighting this uh, life science career, but also teaching them that it's not difficult. I mean, it's not difficult to be a woman and it's not difficult to work in science and in developing countries. My father was a role model for me. He was engineering and when I was a child, I would like to be similar to my father. After uh, my high school, I uh, won scholarship to Russia and I studied on biochemistry in Russia. When I was studying in Russia, I was uh, alone. Uh, my daughter was, uh, living, was living with my husband and with a grandmother. It was so hard time. <laughs> and uh, she said to me, uh, I the role model for her. So she would like to be in science too. I was born and brought up in Belize and I did not know anything about the science or how to go up and to be educated uh, with higher study or something. When uh, I got married with a doctor, I understood that the nuclear medicine is the subject where uh, only the good or best student go for the nuclear medicine. So I decided I will, be, uh, I will fight for that and I was successful. And uh, at that time, my husband encouraged me. I got a job in nuclear medicine also. Uh, and then uh, I applied for PhD in uh, Japan, and I got the Mount Warsaw Scholarship. It is the immense honor and recognition, and uh, it will inspire me. I chose medicine. I thought, what is behind this? So many people around me think that I will be in internal medicine. This is the famous for women and so on. Many people helped me. My family at the beginning, especially my mother who encouraged me, and she looked for my daughter when I was busy. My husband, he is also support me in everything. I will study everything together. The bachelor degree, the master degree, and the PhD. And the award is, can say, exceptional event in my life. I think it will make me a change so how to be a good researcher, more than that. And also to inspire our newer generation, especially women in my department, in my faculty. Mm -hmm.